This is Dr. Loomis, the man I was telling you about. Oh, yes. It's a pleasure to meet you, Doctor. It will be wonderful to have you back at the hospital. Dr. Wynn, there's something you should know. Dawn, I'd like you to get Dr. Loomis anything he needs. Files, tests, records of every treatment we've ever administered to a former patient of ours, Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Is something wrong? I just received a phone call. That girl, Jamie Lloyd, her body was found this morning near Haddonfield. Notify the Haddonfield Sheriff, tell them we're on the way. I want the entire staff on alert. We go to Code Red Lockdown for 24 hours. If that maniac gets really out there, I plan to bring him back alive. Yo, G, what's up? Barry's my homeboy from Chicago. Yes, that Barry Sims. Beth and I are down on this gig. Danny, look, you just bring the posse tonight, and we'll hook you up. Peace. Doesn't Danny look cute dressed up as his Uncle Tim? Great. Now I've got a six-year-old gang member for a son. Perfect. This is the famous Tim Strode stomach pounder. You down for the challenge? Hit the G. <laughs> Good try, damn man. You better stick to orange juice. Shit, it's facing my property. <laughs> Show them. John, they were just kids. Kids, my dear Deborah. What's ruining this country? Everywhere you go, it's the same damn thing. There's no goddamn respect. <sighs> I rest my case. Carl, you never pass that exam on an empty stomach. Cognitive therapy and emotional disorders. What are they teaching you in college these days? The art of going crazy? This is called psychology, Mom. Living in this house is enough to drive anyone crazy. Oh, yeah? Well, who the hell asked you to come back here in the first place? Did I get Danny to school? Doesn't show her face around her own family for five years, then comes back and expects us to roll out the red carpet. You think going to college is going to make a few mistakes, girl? Huh? Please. They offer, Dad. Let's go, Danny. Carol, wait. Please, John, can't we just sit down for once and try to be a family? Sorry, Mom. Oh, that's it, Deborah. Yeah, just keep slipping to the cash. You know, while you're at it, I got a great idea. Here, here let's give her all of our goddamn money. Why don't you leave her alone? I think if it changes, does it? You can wake up. I get those of you, girl. Before you came around, everything was going fine. Till you landed on our doorstep. You and that little 